Hey, so this is going to be a long video in general, but not very much information. I'm starting from the end and going to the beginning, so you kind of get what you're going. Um, I do boudoir photography on the side, and this is kind of one of those like areas that I like to do. Uh, this is a new studio that I found in San Antonio. I live up north, so I have to drive down to it, but it's really nice. Uh, there's like three or four really good studios in San Antonio. Austin, I don't know. I can barely find ones that are like not super expensive that are nice and they have a bunch of lofts and stuff i wish there was some people that just had anyway it doesn't matter um new Braunfels has a couple san marcus has uh, had one i don't know what happened but it needs to say um this is shot on xt5 uh, i had been using it uh, actually this is my buddy's xt5 so i'm going to show a couple pictures it's got kind of a warm tone to it but um, i try to edit it out and change the white balance but it still has like a little pinkish red tone um but it's okay I, I i think he's got it set and i didn't want to mess with his his settings the way he liked it um just for those that are wondering because i know i did get a comment on one of them um there is a patreon that goes a little bit more in depth in the boudoir uh section on here a little bit more nude art um there's a guy granger that shoots like nikon and he pretends that he likes sony and fuji and all that but he's a nikon guy but um he, he kind of did the same thing, and I'm just kind of going through it. So uh, some of the lights that are here, these are all Godox lights. Um, that are not Godox, uh, newer, newy, newy lights. And then there's a Godox light that I'm using as a flash, as a bounce uh, off the ceiling. Now, what I love about this studio, and I don't think I put it in the video, but there's a, um, there's a it's got this beautiful white ceiling up on top, and so it bounces off the white pretty good. So, um, but this young lady, she's, she's used to do modeling for a while. She stopped and she kind of did this boudoir and I really like this shot. Um, I've been trying to duplicate it on a couple others. Um, and each one of them is a little bit different, which I really love. Uh, that's kind of what I'm looking for in, in general. So, uh, this is a really good, cute little studio area. Now this is a blackout room. It's really dark. There's no light coming in other than what's around. And some of the shots that you're going to see are shot just with the ambient light that's in there. And then there's a couple of shots that you'll see with the flash. So I turned on the flash, shot some shots, turned off the flash, shot some shots. So that's basically it. Now, what I also love about the studio is they have an upstairs and supernatural light. Uh, this is a one of the rooms that she has. And so we changed outfits with the young lady. And we did a uh, kind of like a drape. Now, the X-T5 picked up her face really well through this little drape. The X-T4 had a really hard time. It kept on focusing on the front part of the drape. I don't know if you can see it on this right-hand side, um, but it kept on focusing on there. <clears throat> and so I'm trying to move, and then I'm like, okay, can you pull your face out so I can kind of focus? And so I shoot with the X-T4 on these shots. So uh, the X-T4 picked up her face after this. Now, I'm not saying the X-T4 has bad autofocus. The X-T4 has really, really good autofocus. It's really great. It's amazing. Um, it's a lot better than the X-T3. Now, on the X-T3, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of explain how I use um, the cameras in general. So I really was torn, but I wanted to buy an X-T5. I just, the 40 megapixels doesn't make sense for wedding photography for this kind of like fun little shoots like this, um, these meetups and everything. It just doesn't make sense because... On these meetups, there's no real client work or anything going on, so it really doesn't affect anything. It's kind of just how I like to edit, and I don't need high-res edits for a lot of the stuff that I'm doing. And, and this is more uh, for the IG, so for Instagram, it, it, it brings it down. Um, I do have a Twitter and uh, a Patreon that goes with it. Now, those have high-res photos, and the X-T5 does definitely, I do put those there, but... Um, for the most part, these are shot X-T4 with her face available, X-T5. Now, the X-T3, I love how sharp the images look, and I'm, I'm going to show you here in a little bit uh, when we, we change outfits, but there's a, um, how do I describe it? Uh, I use the 50 to 140, 2.8, and that shoots, I mean, that right there is so amazing. It is, it is super sharp. And the autofocus is really good in the in the um, the zoom lens. Most of these shots are shot with basically a twenty four to seventy. That's basically what they're shot with equivalent. Uh, here is where I did the um, 
50 to 140. And so there's one, no, is this, a, oh, no, 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 this is the 16 mil. So I used the 16 mil 1.4 in these shots right here because I wanted like that wide shot. Um, this is a tub that's upstairs. That There's that bathroom you were watching the video. It's a tub on the side. And uh, I really like the, kind of the layout that's here. Now, the girl that did this, she did a really good job. And I have to give her props because one day she's like, you know what, I have this big house. I'm going to make it into a studio. And she made it into a studio. Um, there were a couple of photographers that went to this meetup and they were not impressed. I'm putting in quotes, right? Not impressed. And the reason why I say that is because they um, they expected it to be organized. And it's kind of hard to tell them this, but she had a model that did not actually come, like two or three models that did not show up that were supposed to show up. And I know one of them. One of them's a little flaky. She's going through a lot of personal things right now. And... Um, I would not have invited her, you know, if I invited her, I wouldn't expect her to be, uh, be there. You know, that's one of those things that I'm like, eh, you know, she probably won't show up. I'd, I'd have to have a backup plan. So I kind of, I like the bath. Uh, I'm going to go back to it for a second, but the, um, so there were a couple of people that were kind of like upset that it was disorganized. There weren't models that showed up. They were supposed to actually have like a model here in the bathroom and then a model in that little bed, and then there was a bed next door, right right across from it that there, people were supposed to shoot in, and then there's a little living room that we're gonna come to, and then there's downstairs, there was the studio that we shot in, kitchen, like there's a bunch of places people were supposed to shoot, right? But only a couple of models showed up, and the makeup artist, she was really good, but she took a really long time, and it kind of upset one of uh, the people that were there because they wanted to work with a model, and they had to leave, and she was still doing the makeup for her. It was, you know, I don't, I don't do any like makeup is is its own thing. Okay, here I try to do a couple things by messing with the autofocus. Uh, I switched out to the XT5, and I got this little uh, fabric here, and I wanted to kind of mess with it a little bit and put it in the way to see if the XT5 focused on her face and didn't focus on her face or whatever it was. And so some of the shots that you're going to see here in a few minutes, they, uh, or you have seen, uh, the autofocus worked really well. Um, I'm kind of showing you real quick the, the flash. I use the 8200. I love that one. Now, I am going to say one thing about the 8200. It overheated one time for me. Uh, okay, so you can, hold on. We'll come back to the 8200. So you'll see right here where I try to put it in front of her face. I try to put it down low, went in different directions, and the X-T5 picked it up. Um, we switched uh, here in a few moments. And I did the X-T4, and so I'm over here on the right kind of holding it up, and the X-T4 picked up her face. It didn't pick up this little netting, which was really cool. Uh, and the reason why I like that is because when I do weddings, they have the veil, and the veil kind of covers some of the face. Uh, we went outside for a real quick shoot. I wanted to try the 8200 um, outside with this modifier that was on. It did not work how I wanted it to, so that there's a short video. Um, I didn't use any flash for this. Uh, there's a flash going off in the background, but that's not me. There's another photographer that's shooting in the little spot off to the right um, that's there, and he, uh, he's he got his flash going off because me and him have 8200s. Both of us have the same one, and he kept on jumping on my channel or my, my 8200 kept on going to his thing. So I just turned everything off, and I was like, I'm going to do natural light. Uh, I kind of liked it like this, and so I took some shots. Now, I made sure that she was okay with the shots because... What ends up happening is that she's wearing a low-cut shirt, and I'm coming from a different angle, and so you can see down her shirt. And I was like, hey, are you sure? And she's like, yeah, that's sure. No problem. Um, I don't touch models whatsoever, so this portion right here, um, I'm putting my camera down and recording something. I don't remember what I was recording. What was I recording? No. Oh, yeah, okay. So I was talking to the guy about his flash, and you can see the flash right there. And so he's saying, oh, sorry, you know, I didn't mean to, you know, click it on, whatever it is. Anyway, so we're coming back to the chair. I said, is there any way that they could not use the flash for a couple of minutes? That's what I was talking to him about. And then I start taking shots with her. It's really nice. Um, she's like, hey, let's, you know, let's do some. Remember, now this is going back in time. The boudoir portion of it was in the past. That was the last thing we did. So this is kind of like the first thing. So we move over to this little bed right here and we take a couple of shots. And... Um, I'm shooting with, oh, this is a Sony a7 IV. I'm shooting here 
with the Sony a7 IV, I think, and the X-T4. So you're going to see two different versions of this. One's a little bit more pink, reddish uh, coloring. And so going back to um, the other guy, he, was, he wasn't too impressed in general. And the reason why was because he wanted it more organized. And there were not that many models that showed up. The makeup artist took a little bit longer than it was supposed to. So there were a lot of little things that happened. And you have to give it to the young lady that did this. She did this off the whim. She tried to organize this. It turned out really well. The food was good. Music was good. Um, the models that did show up were really nice and really sweet. Uh, they've been doing it for a while. Um, there was a couple of young models there. I say teens, young, young ladies. I, I took a picture of one of them. I didn't really work with the other lady. Uh, that much and so they um it worked out it worked out really well i enjoyed it um this is me just taking a little bit of bts they're talking um about where she's from i think she's from like san marcus or austin or something like that and she came on down uh, i want to show this mirror in the background for a second there but um the mirror i wanted to use it but it was it wasn't what i pictured there were too many people in the background it just didn't work out how i wanted it to work out so um, now we're at the beginning. This is the first time I met her. Uh, I kind of show the 8200 right there. Now it took me probably about 15 shots to get the light the way I wanted it. And the reason why I say that is because at first I had the 8200 with just the bare bulb and it shot, right? Super bright because it was dark room. Uh, the X-T4 did really good here. Uh, now the 35... 2.0, I think that's what that is, 33, 35, 2.0. It's a small, little, itty-bitty compact one. It um, it kept on hunting with the X-T4 and the X-T5. It just kept on hunting and hunting and hunting. And it's a good lens. I love how sharp it is. You're going to see some pictures or you've seen some pictures of it. It's really nice, but it hunts. It hunts. It hunts. It's not a good video lens, and but it's a great photography lens. Now, the kit lens, I shot a couple of shots and did not like any of those shots. And that's a great video lens, the kit lens, the the 2.8 to variable 4, right? So I think it's 18 to 55. It's a great video lens. It is a horrible photo lens. It, it has this like, and I've, I have three of them that I have shot with, and they're all kind of the same. It has kind of um, like a glow haze effect. It's not super sharp. I guess that's the best thing. And we don't really want sharp photos anyway. Most times when we're doing portrait, you kind of de-sharpen it, you know, some of the skin tones and all that. Or skin is like, you want to hide some of the wrinkles and the blemishes. But um, it's a great video lens. I love the kit lens for video. Now, I have a gimbal that's by a Manfrotto. And if you've watched one of my videos way back when I kind of showed the video, video of the Manfrotto, it cannot hold the X-T4, the X-T5, or the X-T3 with the 35 2.0 because it's too light. The motor starts freaking out. But if I put the kit lens with the X-T3 or X-T4 on there, it works perfectly fine. I can put the Sony a7 IV on it with the um, 28 to 70, and that works perfectly fine too. Um, some of these shots that you're going to see here, these are shot with Sony um, a7 IV and the Fuji X right here. So when I put this down, I start shooting with the a7 IV. Um, anytime I put the camera down, um, I don't remember. It's kind of in this kind of general area. I put the camera down a couple times and I shot with the a7 IV. Uh, I switched out the little the GoPro on top also a couple times to shoot with the a7 IV. And so me and her are just talking. We're just chilling out. And um, I'm trying to get that sign. See that sign how it's blown out in the back? I'm trying to get it so it comes out in the picture. And so in Luminar AI, I had to take the picture really dark and then flash just a little bit on her. And in Luminar AI, I brought the background down, but since she was so close to the background, it kind of, it didn't work out as well, but you can kind of see the photos, but um, I kind of liked it. Now, there's another room down at the end where they were doing changing and stuff. We were going to use that room because it had a, a blackout curtain, but it had this beautiful, the sun is coming down on that side, and it had this strip of light that I kind of wanted to use, and um, I didn't get a chance to to use it how I wanted, but um we, we just kept on kind of going around that little room. You can get so many shots in here in this itty-bitty little room in just general. And um, I got a lot of stuff with the uh, with the camera. Now, there's a stand that's back here in the back. And 
I eventually had to stop and be like, all right, I got to move this guy. So I, that's what I'm doing right here. I'm moving the stand uh, out the way. So if you're saying like, what, what the heck is he doing? Uh, if you saw it, the 8200 is pointed towards the ceiling at this point in time because it's just too bright for this area. Like I said, trial and error. I put a little diffuser on it. I put the honeycomb on it. I did a bunch of stuff to try to get it brought down. I even lowered it down to 1 28th of uh, power, but the uh, is still too strong in that room. It was too dark. It was too strong. So I had to point it at the ceiling, which I liked. It had the white, so I pointed it at the ceiling. Now, you can kind of see it. There's a bunch of photographers walking around, a bunch of models moving all over the place. So uh, we just tried a couple of different outfits, a couple of different looks, and um, that's basically it, guys. I don't really know what else to say. Uh, overall, I know I talked for like 15 minutes, and if you're still listening, pfft, thank you but um i guess i'll just leave this last little part here with a little bit of music and uh you can kind of just see what i kind of shot and i'll put some photos up here with it and um i want to thank you have a good day a good night and um i'll see you on the other side